The lunatic is on the grass. The lunatic is on the grass. Remember. We hear a lot about Marxism and socialism, and there are those, particularly in the media, who would say that uh, we should tone down our rhetoric about uh, socialism because we're not moving to socialism. Well, the reality is, I'm a Special Forces officer. I I'm a Green Beret, and I've studied Marxist insurgency. It was part of my training. And the things that I know that have, done, have been done in every Marxist insurgency are being done in America today. The first thing that has happened when people like uh, Fidel Castro have moved their societies towards Marxism is they've nationalized major sectors of the economy. Folks, that's what the bailouts were, nationalizing major sectors of the economy. The second thing they've done is they've redistributed wealth. We've heard enough about the redistribution of wealth. And in fact, the man that was appointed to handle Medicaid and Medicare after he was seated in the office actually stood up and said publicly that health care was nothing but a redistribution of wealth. The third thing that they do is they discredit their opposition. Now, I've never been so angry with my government as when a Department of Homeland Security memorandum went around to law enforcement all over the country saying that the future threats to America were right-wing Christian groups, pro-life groups, Second Amendment groups, and returning veterans. I'm still angry about that. But it never said Islamic terrorist. That's discrediting the opposition, the very groups that would stand up and protest the things that they see happening in our country. The fourth thing that has been done in the model is censorship. Now, it's kind of irrelevant with regards to the media because the most of the mainstream media is already on the left and is already very much in favor of the things that we see happening in America. But the hate crimes legislation that has been passed is actually targeted at pastors. It's targeted at pastors so that they don't get up in the pulpit and talk about things like homosexuality and same-sex marriage or about the realities of Islam and the danger that Islam presents to America. The hate crimes legislation is meant to suppress them, to censor them, which is part of the Marxist model. The next thing that was done in every society was that gun ownership had to be controlled. We hold the Second Amendment to be very important to us as Americans, the right to bear arms. But in a Marxist movement, you have to control that gun ownership. I don't know if you've seen it, but there has been a decree by the administration, by the president and the secretary of state, saying that our president will sign the United Nations Small Arms Treaty, which is about how we will buy, sell, and control individual private weapons. Folks, that means the United Nations an international body will decide how you and I as Americans can buy and sell our weapons, how we control those weapons, who's authorized to have those weapons, and where they are. This is a dangerous trend. And the final thing that is done in the Marxist model is societies like Cuba, like Venezuela today, like Russia under Stalin, or China under Mao Zedong, things they have done, the final thing has been actually to develop a constabulary force, a force that can control the population. You say, well, we don't have that. Well, let me remind you that prior to the election, the president stood up and said that if elected, he would have a national civilian security force that would be as large as and as well equipped as the United States military. For what? Remember Hitler had the brown shirts and in the night of the long knives even Hitler got scared of the brown shirts and killed thousands of them. Well, so you say are there any signs that that's actually happened? The truth is yes. 
If you read the health care legislation, which, by the way, no one in Washington has read, but if you read the health care legislation, it's actually in the health care legislation. There are paragraphs in the health care legislation that talk about the commissioning of officers in time of a national crisis to work directly for the president. It's laying the groundwork for a constabulary force that will control the population in America. You need to understand this is happening in America, and it fits the model that societies have uh, that have been used when societies uh, move to Marxism. It should be a matter of great concern. Find out more about it. Look at what's happening around you. And then get out and do something to help stop this. Use the constitutional tools that our founding fathers gave us. Let your congressman know how you feel about this. Be a pain in their neck by constantly emailing and calling them. Find candidates that represent your values as a constitution-believing American and get out and get active in some of these movements that are trying to reverse what's happening in America. May God bless you. Are you still sleeping? Are you awake yet? Wake up. Wake up. 